Welcome to the Quick Start Tutorial Series for Visual 3D Print 2015, brought to you by Mechsoft. Today we'll be using the offset and split tools to create a part with a uniform wall thickness. We will perform the following basic steps to complete this tutorial. First, we'll launch Visual 3D Print and open the part file. Then, we will diagnose the mesh for possible problems. After that, we'll use the Stitch and Close tool to combine and fix the mesh. Then we'll use the Offset Mesh to create a uniform wall thickness. To complete the tutorial, we'll split and cap the mesh. Let's begin by launching the Visual 3D Print 2015 module. From the Home ribbon bar, select the Application Manager icon from the Plugins pane. Check the box next to Visual 3D Print and then pick OK. You will see the Visual 3D Print menu appear on the Home ribbon bar. Drop down the menu and then select Browser. The Visual 3D Print browser will appear docked on the left of the screen. Now, select the Mesh Modeling ribbon bar and we see all of the Visual 3D Print command icons are located here. The Meshes pane contains mesh creation tools. The Model pane contains mesh editing tools. The Inspect and Modify pane contains analysis and additional editing tools. The Repair pane contains various tools for fixing your mesh model. The 3D Print pane contains tools for fitting, checking, exporting, and printing your mesh to a 3D printer. Now, let's load the part model for this tutorial. From the Visual CAD menu, select Open. Find the part file named 3dmold.vcp located in the Quick Start folder, and then pick Open. From the browser, we see that this model contains over 400 individual mesh objects. The first thing we want to do is perform some diagnostics. From the Mesh Modeling ribbon bar, we'll select the Diagnose tool from the Repair pane. Now Windows select the entire mesh model and then right click or press Enter. The Diagnose dialog will appear below the browser. Using the default selections, pick the Run Checks button. We see that three sets of checks are performed. These include edges, triangles, and vertices. The results of each check are color-coded for easy recognition on the mesh model. For example, Diagnose found over 30,000 open edges, which are assigned the color red by default. For now, we'll pick the Cancel icon to close the Diagnose dialog. We can fix this problem quickly. From the Mesh Modeling ribbon bar, select Stitch and Close from the Repair pane. Now Windows select the entire Mesh Model again and then right click or press Enter. The Mesh is repaired automatically. Notice in the browser that there is now only one Mesh in the data tree with a total of over 150,000 facet triangles. We'll select Diagnose again, Windows select the entire mesh model, right click or press Enter, and then pick Run Checks to see the new results. We see that we now have zero open edges. Pick the Cancel icon to close the Diagnose dialog. Now that we have only one mesh, let's offset to create a uniform wall thickness. From the Visual CAD View toolbar, select Shaded Display to see the model more clearly. This time, from the Model pane, select Offset. Select the mesh and the Offset dialog will display. We'll set the Offset distance to 0.1. Then, we'll set the Tolerance to 0.01 and then pick Offset. Now we see that a second mesh was added to the data tree that is an offset of the first. We can see the difference clearly on the screen by unchecking and checking each mesh individually. Now that we have a uniform wall thickness, let's split the mesh. We'll go back to the Model pane and select Split. Now Window select both meshes and then right click or press Enter to display the split dialog. 
The upper portion of the dialog contains a slider that allows you to control the split plane location. Move the split plane shown graphically on the screen by adjusting the slider between the min and the max of the mesh's bounding box. Section curves, shown in red, are dynamically updated as you adjust the slider. Move the slider until the section curves are located approximately as shown. We are provided with a cap results option. Selecting this will ensure that once split, each section of the mesh will be a capped closed volume. Now we pick split. Once completed, we'll uncheck all but the upper mesh from the data tree and then view the results. We now have a split cavity with a uniform wall thickness. Mesh offsets can be used in a variety of different applications. This completes Chapter 2 of the Quick Start Tutorial Series for Visual 3D Print 2015, brought to you by Mechsoft. For further assistance, you can visit the online help supplied with the program or visit www.mechsoft.com for additional tutorials. Thank you.